right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23. Bombshells dropping today, man. We got a lot of information that came out about my team, and and I feel like it's got a lot to do with the game itself, man. So if you don't do nothing else, man, uh, you know, make sure y'all like the video, man, because every time y'all like the video, it just helps us keep pushing us closer and closer to you know to that hundred k, man. But look though, um, I'm just gonna be covering key points in the courtside report because the courtside report is is something great. I'm gonna talk about some of the stuff that you guys think that, that I think you probably missed or you didn't really see or you didn't really see what you thought you saw and that stuff. And also, uh, I'm gonna let y'all check out brute video and anonymous video. They went much deeper in detail than I'm gonna go. But I'm just gonna be talking about the stuff that are uh, hitting the hitting the key points and stuff like that. And we're gonna see how this goes <clears throat> as far as news goes, man. But like I said, if y'all don't do nothing else, I'm gonna wait for y'all to like the video, man. Cause, Cause I know y'all rock with me, man. So I know y'all liking the video. Cause every time you like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh so coveted 100 k And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now look, man, before we even get started, shameless plug, Breeze Tees, this is my site. We, we do the t-shirts, man. We got the saying t-shirt. Look, bro, you can go through, choose what color garment, choose the type of garment. Prices are dynamic. Everything's good. We got the lock t-shirt. Uh, we're gonna have <clears throat> Beast Mode activated. Go through, change them up, whatever you want. Hoodies, slim fit hoodies, all that stuff, man. Go to the site, check it out, man. Um, Link will be down in the description. The hottest stuff, Breeze Tees, man. Like I said, you helping me out a lot if y'all do this stuff, man. Also, like I said, we are giving away a copy of 2K, two copies of 2K23, uh, the same day that the game comes out, or probably the day before we'll look at the uh, thing. So make sure y'all like the video. The only thing you gotta do, like the video, comment on the video. That's it. And uh, you know, and then like I, I think I had the last uh, update, the last update or something like that. Uh, we still trying to push that video to 10,000. So if you go back, you'll see like the last, um, what was it? The uh, the, uh, the last patch update. Just like that video, comment on it, and then you automatically enter, man. And like I said, we want to keep this thing going because during the season, we're going to be giving away, and uh, we're going to be giving away a lot more stuff. I'm going to be trying to give away a certain amount of VC every week, maybe 200,000 VC a week or 100,000 a week. I don't know. We'll figure all that out. I'm going to let y'all decide it, man. But uh, right here, man, like we said, y'all see, we got the Mamba Court. I could not get this thing to work yesterday. Shout out to everybody that helped me out with the black top plus man we got this thing to work i wish we could have got it done on kobe day but better late than never and just like that we segue into 2k with better late than never first off is this not the cleanest graphic ever with dame saying bye 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 and what we saying bye bye to man is uh no count no more contracts that's something that they have put in the game no more contracts. This is the first thing that we're talking about in the uh, NBA 2K23 thing, man. But this, I want to just take a second to talk about how much more detail Dame has. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything looks just so much more detail, real, and all of that stuff. But no more contracts, man. Check this out, man. We're just going to talk about this and just get it popping. I'm, I'm going to tell you the dark mode because y'all know I can't read anyway. So, you know, in light mode, it's going to be crazy. No more contracts. Getting started with the, with what is likely the most requested change ever in in my team contracts have been removed from my team uh permanent player cards are now yours to use and and play through my team without needing to fill up fill up the contracts nothing has replaced replaced contracts they are simply gone and uh that's something that we've been asking for like i start i don't know if y'all know but i started out in my team in NBA 2K16, that's where I started out my 2K content. I was doing my team, and you know we would do like the new the new releases, new stuff like that. And with with that, what I would all I would always hate contracts, contracts, contracts. You always had to have enough MT to buy contracts, and you try to play a game, and then you couldn't play the game because one of your guys didn't have a contract. It'll tell you who didn't have a contract. Now you got to go to the auction house and try to find some contracts for the cheap and all that. And so like 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 Bird would always say, bro, he like got to buy contracts, got to buy contracts, got. Man, I am sick of buying contracts bro so like that i would get tired of that and that's just playing domination and all that stuff bro you had to have contracts so it would cost it was almost cost you money just to play the game now the rewards would always outdo it and stuff like that and you're gonna get more than what you put in but it's just the fact that bro why do i gotta 
why do I have to do this? So, you know, like cars, you just, you put the cars on the auction house or you quick sell some stuff and then, you know, you stockpile your contracts and make sure you had those. So that's a big W and it shows that they're listening to the community in a lot of regards because that's one of the things that just nerves people to death. Like, bro, I don't want to have to buy contracts all the time just to, just to be able to play the game. And so, you know what I'm saying? They already paid enough for the car. Boom. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. It's dope. I think it's one of the greatest features, one of the best features. And I feel like it shows that 2K is actually listening to us. And you know what I'm saying? They, they, they actually are listening to the community and trying to bend a little bit. They ain't got a break, but just showing us that you're going to bend, man, I think, that's, I think that's huge, man. Another thing, the next thing that I feel like is one of the best things that they're talking about is the triple threat online man the triple threat online pretty much triple threat online co-op is, is is the new way to play triple threat online co-op i think it's the dope idea because even though you know we always used to do the black top the black top joint during um uh like in me 2k16 I, I never played the real real my team because i just didn't have the cards but i would always have three cards and go out there and play the black top and i used to also play the uh like the one that was almost like the roulette black top where you just it's just three they would just pick three random players for you and then you go out there and play and i would use that i, I was i ain't gonna lie to y'all man i used to cheese that to get the newest card that was out and then i make a video on it just to get views and stuff like that man i ain't gonna lie man. i've always been i was cheesing views back then but you know it is what it is but now this is something that would actually pull me into my team and you can tell that they're trying to pull the park community into my team and now this actually will make sense why we're getting my team stuff for the park community because what this is triple threat online and it just it just says uh triple threat online it's the regular triple threat online but then this part is the co-op the co-op part and it just says triple threat online co-op supports any combination of six players so you know you can have one on three two on two two on three or you can have a full group of three on three you can play however you like the ai will fill out any empty slots with uh, with the appropriate teammates as you and your friends play against each other so you can play against each other now if you're feeling a bit more cooperative and are looking and are looking for and looking to improve your collection you can join one or two friends on the same team uh and play the co-op mode and it says uh, pretty much you, in this mode, you'll be able to play against the AI and, uh, you know, it'll be one, two or three people versus the AI. Obviously, it'll be two or three people because you might as well play the, uh, the normal one. But you're playing against the AIs, you can co-op against the AIs. And then finally, if you're feeling a little bit more competitive, you can do, uh, you can do, not, uh, you can do, okay. Finally, if you're feeling a little bit more competitive for the multiplayer, Competitive mode is here. Not only will you reach or uh, will each of you progress your individual season So it's just like playing the park. You're gonna progress your individual season by playing it, but um But you will also have a chance to earn rewards for beating the competition uh, My points tokens packs and special takeover reward uh, Takeover reward players are up for grabs after the competition uh, uh, after every competitive mode in triple threat so more or less what they're saying is man this is almost like a park mode for my team so i don't have to like let's say if i don't play my team i ain't too much into my team but i got a lot of fans that like playing my team i can just get the craziest card in the game or somebody can trade me one of their cards and then we can go play and the other thing is uh, you know, I, I just think that's a big dub because that will make me go over to my team a little bit and try to grind triple threat if nobody's on. And then I can just say, hey man, anybody trying to grind some triple threat in there? Because I'm just bored today waiting on Brood and all them guys to get on. Boom. And we can do that. So, I mean, I think that'll be dope. And I also think they're trying to use that to bring in a lot of people, uh, you know, bring in a lot of the park community into the triple threat or uh, into my team. That's a way to, to kind of usher them in. And I feel like if this is something that's wildly successful, do not... 2K is playing chess. They playing 5D chess. They ain't playing checkers. If this game mode is widely successful, I guarantee that next year we will have five on five, my team. And it'll be kind of like how Madden does it where, you know, well, Madden, you can do up to three people, but NBA, but NBA 2K, you'll be able to do five. It'll be just like all-star team up but everybody's controlling one player and you just playing it. But you know, it's just like my team, all-star team up. So you'll be able to play, play everybody just be choosing one person 
like I, I get LeBron, you get Wilt, you, the other person get the souped up Shaq and Kareem. It's gonna be some crazy teams because it'll be humans controlling it. And I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people hated on my team is they just didn't want to get in there. You gotta watch the Sam 15 Sam Fam videos just to see how how to get your defense set up and stuff like that. A lot of people didn't want to do that. A lot of people just want to get online and play. And I think that this is taking down a lot of barriers to entry for it. Because instead of me getting into my team and having to know everything, I can say, I want to play two guard or I want to play big man in my team. I can just stockpile big men and then I can I can I can go in there, stockpile big men, play domination, get who I want, get my stuff up and just be like, hey man, holler me when y'all need a big man. Holler me when y'all need a two. And then if it evolves into what I'm thinking about, hey man, you can be the best small forward in my team. And and, and also the thing that, that makes me feel like they're going in that way is the new player lock to any position. Is that triple third online co-op isn't the only mode in my team to allow the position lock. So obviously you're gonna position lock when you do triple threat online. But it says for uh for NBA 2K23, my team, we're making this change available for all my team modes where you're able to choose a, a specific position in my career or or want to make a better uh, better manager player stamina or what have you. More or less, man, they saying, look, you can play. Obviously, you already play a lot in my career, so I don't know why they said like whether you are whether you are used to a specific position in my career. You just want to make it okay. I get it. So if you normally play play um play small forward in my career or something like that, that I'm telling you what they're doing. They are making it as accessible as possible. All the barriers to entry that were keeping people out of my team, they're trying to tear the walls down like Chris Jen. Break the walls down. They tell me they're breaking the walls down because I think they they know that this is their most lucrative mode. And uh, could you imagine that though? Play a lot, like play a lot already, and then they're trying, they're, they're doing the test mode with the three on three. If that's wildly successful, like I said, the next thing that y'all gonna see, I guarantee the next thing that you will see next year, or hey, man, they might even patch it into this game. 5v5 my team. Could you imagine a real team? 5v5, because all star team up, ain't nobody gonna watch that. But people watch these my team tournaments, right? So imagine an all star team up style of my team where they playing for $250,000. Woo! Boy, that's gonna be crazy. But like I said, man, that's not it. That's not just it because they're bringing back something that we also were talking about, and that's gonna be the leaderboards. Uh, leaderboards and more unlimited. It just says, let's get into the flagship competition of my team, Unlimited. Uh, in the previous two years, Unlimited, you were, you were faced with records that needed to be met uh, to rise up the tiers and earn rewards. The NBA 2K23, we're moving Unlimited to a model where every game played progresses you closer to ranking up. So that's, I think that's just like regular games where like how, how kind of like Apex Legend, you have to buy in, you have to pay like like 32 points to get in. Then when you pay your 32 points to get in, you gotta, you know, you gotta perform a certain way in order to get those points back and exceed those points or you're gonna be going down. I think that's dope, man, because you gotta have a reason to go up and down. Is that season points are, are Season points are how we are accomplishing is this. After each game, you will win. After each game, you win or lose, you will earn season points, earn enough to rank up to the next tier, and you'll be rewarded. After you complete the, as you complete the Dark Matter tier, you aren't done for the season. We're introducing the Prestige tiers after you complete your journey to the top for even more rewards. On top of the rewards at each tier, there'll be a vault where you can open uh, after each game or what have you, man, that's gonna be dope, man. And can you imagine if that translates over to the park? Like, prestige is like like something like we always wanted to know have something for the grinder grinders or whatever. So like we was like, well, what will make us keep playing the game? If I can do that in prestige, just like with these guys right here, you see these symbols at the bottom of their feet or what have you. You can be play the game, you win, you prestige, and then like you see, this probably first prestige right here, and then he's just a my team player. So you already know what you're playing against, and you get that recognition, and you get better chance at rewards and stuff like that. I think that's just dope. That's just that's the dopest thing in the world that you're gonna get a chance at better rewards. And like I said, man, the rest of the stuff is just normal stuff. Uh, just the normal stuff with the with the my team. You got the prize balls, expositions, and stuff like that. Uh, trophy cases. Uh, you know what I'm saying uh, the, the series. But my thing is, I really feel like the prestige part and um, and the my team co-op joint 
is one is gonna be something that's gonna make people really wanna come over. I'll come over, I'll play. If y'all ever wanna play, man, cause a lot of people always are Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Don't do it like that, D Rose! Hold on! Moses! Moses, pick your ankles up, my boy! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, D Rose coming off that screen. Uh, uh, hit it with the step back. Moses, where you going? Is he parting the red? Oh, Jesus! But anyway, like I said, bro, um, this is this is something I feel like it's gonna be very game changing for the my team community. Uh, you still got the single player domination. You still got the single player uh, triple threat. So if you don't want to do triple threat co-op, you don't have to. You still got your challenges. You still have all of that. But I just feel like you still got the my team limited where they're going to have tournaments and stuff like that. You got draft, all that stuff. That's the thing, that's the thing that uh, that OSN made up, you know, the draft joints like that. I mean, it is what it is. You got all of that stuff, man. Triple threat online, the collections, awards. You got all of that. But one more thing that I wanted to talk about uh, that they said, I feel like it's one of the greatest things that they did. Like I said, you just have to watch those Sam Fam videos. And before, after, when the game started, you used to have to go in and change your settings every single time. And it got sickening because if you wanted your team to play a certain way, you had to go in, change everything, shade this guy, don't shade that guy, do this, do that. Now, it says, save your defensive settings. Another highly requested feature in NBA 2K23's My Team. You can save frequently changed defensive settings before you hit the virtual hardwood. Head over to your coaching tab for a lineup and adjust these settings and jump into a game, into the action faster. Because you know we used to watch Cash Nasty. You playing against Cash Nasty, you know you got... You once the game starts, you can go fix you a sandwich and some and some tea, brew some tea and some Kool-Aid because he's gonna be making that many changes. All this stuff is over now. A lot of people probably will quit the game with that. So you know it is what it is. I think that all of these things are dope that they're adding. And they, they even had in the closing remarks, and man, it says from all the new from all the small changes, everybody, you know, just just talking about people gonna be happy and they work very hard on it. But now that you've read about it. Go to the Discord server and let us know what you think. So not even that, but they, they are allowing us to give away to communicate with them directly. Look, 2K, I'm not gonna lie, man. Golf clap for y'all, man. It, it, it depends on how it gets implemented, but I think that this might be a W. It really might be a W, man. So we're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully it uh, is something that they that everybody enjoys and it goes like it does. It gets people into my team. And if you, like I said, if you're used to playing 3v3, that's cool. And then, like I said, I really see this thing evolving into 5v5 my team. Um, and then they can have those type of tournaments and stuff kind of like with Madden because it's just about time. It's about time. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section there. And you know why I'm excited for this, because like Anonymous said, if they're doing this much for my team, just imagine what they're going to do for the park and stuff like that, man. The prestigious, you're probably going to get to level 40, get double VC after that. And like, you know, the, those will be the the, the 40, the 40, 40 prestige awards and stuff like that. We're going to see, man. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.